Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have got a makeup collection and storage updated video. I love doing these videos so much. I feel like you guys do quite enjoy watching them as well. I basically felt like I've got a lot of new makeup recently. It's obviously been my birthday um, and throughout the summer, it's always around the time that I like need loads of makeup. So I've been buying a bunch of it as well. If you guys have watched these videos before, you'll definitely recognize some new bits. If you guys are interested to see the makeup that I wear um, on a daily basis, I've actually changed up my makeup routine from the one I did about a month and a half ago. I've switched my foundation and I absolutely love it. I'll go in depth in the video on all of the products that I like to use every day. But if you guys do wanna watch that everyday makeup tutorial or my what I got for my birthday haul, I will link those videos in my description box. Of course this video is not a brag, it's nothing like that, it's just a fun way of me sharing with you the makeup that I use, the makeup that I like, the makeup that I recommend. I'm always really transparent and open with you guys and I always want to be honest about makeup. Before we get started, if you are new, hello, welcome to my channel, it's so lovely to have you here. Please do click that subscribe button if you want to be here for more videos and of course give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Without further ado, we're going to head into my makeup and my storage and share with you my collection. Okay, so this is a overview of the dressing table, exactly the same as all of my previous makeup collection videos. If you guys are interested in watching any of the previous ones, I will link them down below. It's the IKEA Mom table. It's literally 75 pounds, comes with a um, glass top to keep it like clean and looking nice. Um, and I've literally had this for over two years now and it's done me really, really, really well. Obviously you can see I've got a bunch of different things on here. I'm gonna go more in depth with that in a minute, um, but I've basically got my skincare, my perfumes, I've got a candle on over there, I've got my brushes um, and then I've got some of my nicer kind of like more display lipsticks over here. And then if you open the drawer I've got all of my makeup in this big level drawer here but first let's start with what's on top of the vanity. Okay starting over with this side so this hasn't changed hugely since my last video um, I've still got this cute little heart dish from Tesco which keeps all of my jewellery in so I've got like my Vivian Westwood necklace I've got all my Pandora rings I've got my Tiffany bracelet my Pandora bangle just like all of that kind of stuff in there. Here I've then got a frame this frame I believe is from like like Matalan I want to say or maybe Home Bargains had it a really long time again it's just a photo of me and my boyfriend from last year over here I've got my candle the current candle I've got is the dark chocolate and almond bark this literally smells so good it smells identical to a Bath and Body Works candle I had years ago so it's really really yummy I've literally just blitzed cleaned my room before this video so I always love putting on a fresh candle as soon as I've cleaned it's like the best feeling over here I've then got a little acrylic storage for my cotton pads so obviously I use micellar water to take off my makeup so I use cotton pads every single day um, as you can see I do need a top up of some this little acrylic storage was actually from the range I think it was only like two pounds over here we've then got skincare and hair care this is kind of the stuff that I use on a really regular weekly daily basis so it's just really nice to reach and grab now the little gold um, baskets are actually from a soap and glory gift box that I bought um, in the January sale so I bought two of them so I could use the baskets and use the products obviously so these are literally just reused they're really really good quality and I love the color in here is just a bunch of stuff really I've got the Garnier micellar cleansing water again I'm running quite low of that I need to get a new one I've got my gradual tanning um, body lotion this is the Garnier summer body really really good for if you want to keep a tan on holiday I'd really recommend having this I've got my ordinary hyaluronic acid this has helped so much with my skin um, I've also got a mini of the uh, Brazilian bum bum cream this is really 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 good I love it and it smells insane it literally just smells like holidays down here I've then got my skinny tan coconut water face serum so it's just like tanning face serum I've then got my beauty sleep face mask from Lush this is like my go-to face mask really really helps my skin and it smells like lavender as well so I love using this in the bath another little Lush product here I've got the super milk by Lush so this is conditioning hair primer I genuinely believe this is all behind um, my hair growth my hair curl um, just like the natural shine of my hair this is really really good stuff and it literally smells insane and it lasts a really long time as well I think I bought this like four months ago same brand from the Brazilian bum bum cream I've actually got the pistachio and salted caramel fragrance and hair mist this again smells amazing it smells just like the body cream I've then got a Mario Badescu spray this is the chamomile 
and lavender one, which is one of my favourites. And then I've also got what looks like a little honey pot stirrer, um, but I actually use this for bubble bath. Um, so I just like to keep it here because it's nice and easy to reach. Next, we've got the newest addition um, of my table, which is this really lovely gold lifted plate. So I actually got this from Home Bargains. Um, I'm going to feature it in a Home Bargains haul coming soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But it was literally four ninety nine, and I love it. And I basically just wanted a new way to store my perfumes because I love perfumes. I have so many, and I got some really really lovely expensive ones for my birthday. So I really just wanted to display them and have them kind of have their moment. I've obviously, just got a bunch at the back of the ones I don't reach for as much, um, or that I don't have as much left. So I've got a very small amount of this seat by Giorgio Armani. I've then got a little bit of the Poison Girl by Dior. Then got Black Opium, um, which again doesn't have a huge amount in left. Then I've got my kind of like main ones that I love. So I've got Coco Chanel, which is what my boyfriend got me. Um, I've then got the Lady Million Lucky, which is a really nice everyday perfume of mine. I like to wear this to work. I've then got Chance by Chanel as well. This is a really lovely perfume. Um, but overall, I just love how it looks. Um, and I just really wanted to kind of have something really featured in the center of my dressing table. And I feel like this looks really, really nice. Moving on, I've then got my second gold basket, which is basically got all of my perfumes in um, that aren't on the plate. So before, in my previous video, all of my perfumes were kept in here, but I obviously just needed something extra. Um, and I'm not sure if it looks really cluttered, but it's just like the easiest way to store it. I've got a bunch of different perfumes. I do have some really nice ones. I've got like Angel by Mulga or Mulga, I can never say it. Um, I've got a, another Giorgio Armani one there. I've got some body shop ones, which I love to use for work because they're quite cheap um, and they smell really, really strong. Um, I've got White Company Seychelles. I've got Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger. I've got my little trusty um, Black Opium Dupe there. I've got another Giorgio Armani perfume here as well. And then at the bottom, um, I've then got some Zara perfumes. So I've got this one in Deep Garden, which is a really, really lovely one. I've got this one down here. I think this is a Jo Malone collaboration in Ebony Wood, which is beautiful it's a really nice like winter smell um and then also down there i've got a dkny perfume then it got my other bits so i've got the you grow girl little plant pot this is actually meant to be a plant pot but i just absolutely love it for storing my brushes in and this is obviously where i keep all of my makeup and my hair brushes so hair brush goes i've got a little disney one that i got for my birthday and i've got my beauty wax molly may one then just got a bunch of different brushes here we've got like um beauty bakery zoeva um so many real techniques ones um and a bunch of e tool ones as well that's another real techniques there we've got some cute like barbie skinny dip ones which are really good another kind of collection from um real technique i use all my brushes as you can see they could do have a good wash um but they're really well loved um i've also got a few morphe like eye brushes here as well over here i've got all of my lipsticks now i have had this little acrylic holder for a really long time i want to say i got it from like poundland or home bargains or something but it was really really cheap and on here i just keep my everyday lipsticks i've got two of the maybelline lifter glosses um in shade three and eight um i do have another two of these somewhere i don't know where they are but i'm literally terrible when i lose lipsticks all the time um but i've also got some mac lipsticks along here these are like a bunch of different shades i've got yash um i've got cherish um i've got spice it up please me i've got a limited edition one here from like the trolls which was a few years ago and then i've also got well but i'm pretty sure i kept that one at my boyfriend's I think I've lost that one along here I've got my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick so I've got nude romance I mean the packaging is just like insane of all of her lipsticks but this is a really gorgeous color I've then got Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW which is a really nice kind of like lighter nude I've got pillow talk which is like my everyday lipstick I love this one I've then got a YSL red lipstick here which is really lovely for Christmas time and then over here I've then got a Urban Decay lipstick in fuel cream and again this is just like a really nice kind of like nudie color it's not technically makeup but I did want to show it because I do keep a lot of stuff down here so if you can see um, I've got my little poofy little chair there which I've had for years again that's from B&M I think it was like £30 it's also got like a gold rim bottom as well so it goes with a lot of the detail on the dressing table and I've got my air wrap my Dyson air wrap down there I've got all my nail polishes in the bottom little tin there and then in the top tin I've got wax melts in all of these this is like skincare um some really random things in here actually like photo albums and stuff and then in this basket under here I've just got all of my lush bath bombs and bubble baths so now we're going to open up the drawers and we're going to go through all of my makeup 
Starting off in this little section here, now all of my little dividers are reused glossy boxes that I've genuinely had for years, um, but they have lasted me a really long time and they're really good storage. In here is basically kind of like powdered products um, for my face. So at the back here, um, I've got some of the Revolution like themed collection highlighters. So this is the Cinderella highlighter, Nightmare Before Christmas highlighter, which I absolutely love this. It's so, so nice. I've then got a bronzer. This is just one of the Poundland makeup galleries ones um i've got a bunch of makeup gallery stuff my testing out panland makeup video if you guys want to watch that i'll leave it linked down below because they've actually got some really really good stuff over here i've then got my benefit box products so i've got hula bronzer by benefit which is my everyday um and then i've also got this tickle which is like a pink kind of like highlighter over here i've also got my little real techniques beauty blender that i'm currently using and i always keep it in this little case to try and keep it as clean as possible on this side i've got a mini of the hula benefit um, now, as you can see, there's not a huge amount of this left. I actually tend to use this for eyeshadow now. I've then got the Beauty Crop Highlighter. This is in the shade Santorini. I've then got a Butter Blush from Physician's Formula. Again, this is a really, really lovely blush. I've slightly hit pan on it there. I've then got a Lacura, so like an Audi um, blush. Now, this is actually a dupe for the Orgasm Blush by NARS. Even the packaging, you can tell, look, looks the exact same. And the colour is amazing. And this is literally my everyday blush. I've then got my everyday powder. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury blush here. This is the Cheek to Chic one. This is a really lovely little blush. And then at the back there, I've then got my Ofra highlight. So this is the Steph Tom's Milk and Cookies one, um, which is so well used and loved, but it's my everyday one. It's my favorite. I do need to get a new one soon, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. And then at the back, we've just got some highlighters I don't really reach for as much. So I've got W7 Peaches and Gleam Shimmer Powder, so it's like shimmered body powder. And then I've also got the Zoeva Strobe Gel, which is like liquid highlighter um which has kind of shifted a bit there which doesn't look great but again this is really really nice moving on over here i've got all of my foundations and setting sprays now this little section is really really full up i've actually accumulated a lot of new foundations recently um so at the top here i've got some more drugstore ones so i've got the maybelline superstay active wear 30 hour um which i'm not gonna lie guys i don't recommend however i do have this one um which is in the shade nude beige um i've then got the collection illuminating touch foundation which i actually got from home bargains for 99p and this is banging like this is such a good foundation it's so so good i love it i obviously have my like holy grail one which is the nar sheer glow in fiji um shade five i love this so much it's so good but obviously it is quite expensive so i only kind of save this for occasions now on the side i've then got a poundland one this is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation um i've then got the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter in shade four this is such a lovely product to use on its own and underneath and on top of foundation i love this down the side here i've then got a NYX Born to Glow. It's in the shade Caramel. Again, this is a really lovely tanning shade for when I've got a fake tan on. Then downside here, I've got the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. This is in the shade Vanilla Nude. Um, and then I've got my setting sprays. So at the back, I've got the MAC Fix Me Plus, but this is like the shimmer highlighter one. I've got the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Vitamin C Setting Mist. This is so, so good. Um, I literally use this on skincare days as well. It's so nice and refreshing. Moving on, we've got a little bit of a messy drawer here. So this has got some kind of like liquid highlights, liquid bronzers, um, brow products and eye products. Let's start with the brow products first. So the brow products I've got is the Beauty Crop BFF Brow Gel. Now this, guys, is insane. I literally literally cannot tell you how many people have approached me or my friends have asked me if I've been getting my brows laminated because of how good this stuff is. It's literally five pounds. My friend got me a bunch of the beauty crop stuff for my birthday um, and I'm literally obsessed with all of it. The quality is like so 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 good. I've also got the beauty crop BFF brow styling wax. Another beauty crop brow gel here. This one has got like argan oil and stuff in it and it's just a really nice kind of like lash gel. Another brow gel I've got here is the Happy Hemp W7 one. This is really good. Um, um, and then I think I've also 
somewhere got here we are the benefits um 24 hour brow setter again this is a really good one but nowhere near as good as the beauty crop concealers in here so i've got the sleek lift proof concealer um i've got the makeup gallery concealer which is actually pretty good i've got a couple of the rimmel lasting radiance this used to be the rimmel wake me up um but these are really good these are my everyday concealers especially for my under eyes i've also got a little fake for the tarte shape tape so this is just a liqueur product again i've then got a bunch of liquid products here so i've got this revolution foundation stick in f13 i use this for cream contour um i've got 17 color glow cream blush in the shade I literally can't even read it. I think it says lemonade, but again, this is really, really good. I've got um, the Vita Liberator, I think that's how you say the brand, Blur Luminosity Cream Highlighter. Again, this is a really, really lovely product. I've got some mascara. Obviously, I get my eyelashes um, done. I get Russian volume extensions, but I always like to have a mascara just in case. And then I've also got some like eyeliners and stuff down here. So I've got like a mini of the Benefit Roller Liner. Um, this is a NYX eyebrow pencil. I've got a Maybelline Brown Liquid Liner. Um, collection eyeshadow pencil I've got some lash glue for stick on lashes if I need it um, I've also got some liquid eyeshadow here and then I've got a bunch of these mini fix pluses by MAC um, which I always get given when I buy stuff in store so they're always really handy for travel it's kind of just a bit of everything in here but it's really good to reach for and I use all of the products so much in this section, again, this is a little bit random. I've got some smaller eyeshadow palettes um, and a few like like miscellaneous bits. I've just got some spare Real Technique little beauty sponges. These are really good for like cream contour, cream highlight, cream blush, all of that because they're really small. Um, so these are just for my lash extensions. I've got a couple here. Um, and then I've also got a little brow spoolie from the Beauty Crop. Here I've then got my smaller palettes. So I've got Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions, um, which I take, oh my God, I've literally just got that everywhere it's like my travel eyeshadow I love it um and then I've also got a W7 vivid little eyeshadow palette here which is really colorful and I've got the Monica palette um from the friends collection that revolution did under there and down the side here I've got some lashes so these are the LA splash cosmetics golden gatsby foaming lashes um again these are just spares for you know if I can't get infills or something like that. I just always like to be prepared. And I've got some of the Simpsons Revolution collection here, like their Halloween collection, the Treehouse of Horror one. So this is a eyeshadow palette. Also got a face palette as well, which has got a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. I've then got my little gingerbread Too Faced extra spicy palette. I've had this for the longest time, um, but I literally can't part of it because it's so good. I also have this palette. So this is the MAC mischief minx palette um and it's such a lovely palette as well it's really really nice for travel again this is quite a little chaotic section but this is just all of the lip products that aren't on my acrylic storage like lip liners um so i've got makeup gallery i've got gosh maybelline i've got some out of a old glossy box so many lip glosses as well this is the friends revolution monica lip gloss um i've got a mac lip glass here another revolution lip gloss um i've got a w7 clear lip gloss some cute w7 velvet secret lip glosses there another revolution one a essence lip gloss um saving glory lip gloss more lip pencils down here this one is a nyx one um and then i've also got a collection one I've got body shop um i've got rimmel um, this one is another Revolution lipstick. This is the um, Corpse Bride lipstick. Just so many, basically. There's literally loads in here. Um, but I do all get use out of them. Again, this is like a Simpsons Revolution one. I've got lip balms, um, lip creams, Rimmel lipsticks. Like, there's just so much in here. But I love keeping all of this stuff because when I really need a certain colour, you can pretty much guarantee that I've got it in here. So love, love, love this section. Over here, we move to a little bit of like a messy section. Um, so here is a makeup bag. This is actually like the Bratz Revolution Collection makeup bag. Um, and in here, I just keep essentials. Um, things that I just need to reach for and grab that I really, really need in my makeup drawer, but can make it look quite messy. I've got hair clips in here. Um, I've got hair bands. I've got lash curlers for someone that gets extensions. So they're pretty futile, but they're in here too. I've got my Ilior brow tinting stuff here, my activator, my cream. Another hair clip. Um, I've got some spare beauty sponges, some spare razor bits. I've got tweezers, um, like just loads of utensils and tools in here. So that is kind of everything that's kept in there. And then if I take that out, I've then got a few other little bits and bobs. So I've got a little headband, which is good for skincare, makeup, 
you know, keeping hair out of the way. All compact mirror. This is the Revolution um, Quartz Bride one. This again goes everywhere with me. It's really good for travel. I've got a Shea body butter here. Um, again, I always try to keep my everyday body butter in here. Um, I've also got a little light as well, um, which I use for when I'm doing makeup and stuff. And at the back there, I've then got more palettes, which I'm going to pull forward. Here, I've got the Bratz Sasha palette. Such a beautiful colour. I literally love this. I have got the Nightmare Before Christmas palette here um, from the Tim Burton movie. This is the Sally palette. Again, loads of colours. Disney palette here. I've got the Princess and the Frog one, which is really, really lovely as well. Um, and it also has some face colours here, but these are all the eyeshadow colours. Um, and I love keeping these palettes because, again, for like fancy dress parties or when I want to go a little bit more colourful, maybe festivals or like little drinking like things or whatever these are really really good so i love keeping these and underneath here i then have my big morphe palette which i can't lie doesn't get as much use as it probably should because it has tons of colors in it but i really really love having this um and it's just really really nice to have lots of versatile colors in it okay so i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i loved filming it it was so fun filming it obviously you can see that the way that i have like set out my table um and my storage has changed a little bit as well as a lot of the products like I said before, if you guys did enjoy this video, do remember to give a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments your thoughts um, and make sure you're subscribed for all of my future uploads because I've got some really, really good content coming. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you all very, very soon for another video. Bye!